Okay. Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Good well. You are well. You're doing well. Okay, I'm very happy to hear that. How was your weekend? Good, but, um, good. It was good. What did you do? What did you do on your weekend? <laughs> very well. <laughs> very well. Well, today we are going to learn good. and we're going to study the past good evening, tense. Teacher. Hello, good evening, Anna. How are you? Fine. Exciting. Excited. Very happy. You are very happy. Yes, uh, it, I feel that it's very, very long when I don't see you on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's like many days. Siento que pasan yes, como cinco días y no los veo. Yo. Hey. In, in some case, I forget it that the day is Monday. <laughs> hey, you forget me. <laughs> Well, nice, very nice weather in El Salvador. I am sweating, you see. It's very hot today. Exactly for Holy Week. Yo ya siento la Semana Santa. It's very hot. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know if you, but I don't like it. Well, today we are going to start uh, learning about past tense. So that's why my question was, how was your weekend? What did you do? And for that, in that case, you have to use the different verbs in the past tense form. Just give me one second. Okay. So, in order to make the sentences in past tense, it is a little bit complicated because there are many different verbs that change, but I am going to show you today a special form for you, to uh, for you to remember and recognize the verbs in past. It is easy for the irregulars uh, when you memorize them. That's the only form. Good evening. Hi, good evening, Ingris. No le voy a traer el, 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 la, ay, la fórmula mágica para aprenderse los verbos. No, you need to study them. La única fórmula mágica es estudiarlos. Estudiarlos y recordarlos. Pero se los voy a dar de una manera bien curiosa para que los recuerden. Y van a decir, hey, qué chivo. <laughs> you will see. Well. Today, uh, I need to start the class by uh, asking you this question and I am going to do it here in my presentation. I am going to write your answers in my presentation. And let me see, I will open it. Today is our class number 11. Imagine, we are very close to the end. Hmm. No, estamos bien cerquita de terminar esto. Only four more days and we are done. So today is our class number 11 and we are going to study past events, right? We're going to study past events. And we are going to start the class by asking one question. I need you to tell me one sentence about one activity that you do in the morning. Give me one activity that you do in the morning. For example, I am going to start. Uh, in the morning, I, I go to work. Okay, I go, I go to work. That's my activity. Give me one activity, each of you. Carlos, Julio, and Anna, give me one activity that you do in the day, in the morning, in the uh, afternoon. I was working, teacher. No, just in the normal form. 
Give me one activity. Una actividad que ustedes hacen en el día, en forma normal, de verbo normal. Por ejemplo, yo, yo voy al drive. trabajo. Ajá, so you say, I, I drive what? Give me more information. I drive. I drive, drive my work. I drive my car to work. Okay, I drive my car to work. Uh, another sentence. I make coffee. I make coffee. In that case, you don't say I make, you say I prepare. Prepare, prepare coffee. I prepare coffee. Carlos, what is your sentence? One activity that you do in the day. Una actividad que hace en su día a día. Um, sería... <laughs> It's like, yeah, mm. really. <laughs> Um, clean in the car. Okay, I clean the car. I clean, I clean the car. Very good. So that's something that you do every day. That's very nice. Elba, tell me one sentence about one activity that you do in the day. I eat breakfast. I eat breakfast. Very good. I eat breakfast. David? I go to, uh -huh. I go to bank. I go to the bank, right? I go to the bank. Shh, the money. Man. I go, I go to the church. I go to the church, right? I go to the church. Another one, Jenny. I I don't stay. To traer a la niña al colegio. Ah, so you say I pick up i pick up pick up is the action it's not the pick up right <laughs> it's not the high looks i pick up my girl at school i pick up my, I girl, pick up at my girl at school my girl at school at school very good let's continue with eduardo can you give me one sentence about the, the a normal activity that you do in the day I have my dinner. I have dinner. Very good. I have my dinner. Very good. Excellent. Evelyn, give me one sentence. I, I drink milk in the morning. I dream. Sueño. No, de tomar. Let's. Ah, I drink. <laughs> I drink. Sí, dije, qué linda, cómo sueñan. I drink milk. I drink milk in the morning. Yes. Very good job. Let's continue with Daisy. I read the book. I read a book. Very good. I read a book. Let's continue with Josué Alexander. And then I see I, my cell phone. I see. Okay. In the case of the cell phone, you say I check. I check my phone. Because when you say I see my cell phone, it's just this activity, right? Imagine that you have your phone and you are like just looking at it. You say, I see my cell phone. Ah, but if I say I check, you put you turn it on and then you start like moving it and everything. So that's check. C is like just to observe. The next one. Let's go with, uh, I said, who was the next one? Sorry. Um, Abigail, go ahead. Yeah, I do exercise. I exercise or I do exercise. Good. I do exercise. Very good. Uh, let's see, Mr. Cesar, go ahead. I oh, know you told me I checked my phone, right? No, that was Josue. <laughs> Go ahead, Cesar. I eat tacos. I eat tacos. Yay. <laughs> That's a very good activity. <laughs> I eat tacos. Good. Very nice. Let's continue with Mr. Joaquin. 
I drive my bicycle. Ah, very good, very good sentence. But in that case, you say, I ride, I ride, because for the bicycle is ride. I bike. I ride, and I'm going to write it here. I ride my bike. I ride my bike. No podemos decir I drive porque no tiene un motor. Sí, algunas sí, pero las normales no. I ride my bike porque la monta, right? Monta su bicicleta. Then next one, let's continue with Noemi. And then Marisol. I cook every, every day. I cook every day, right? Esa es la cosa más difícil. En inglés. <laughs> Go ahead. English sit up. Hello, hello. Se me perdió. English. I take, I take a bus. I take a bus. <clears throat> With the militars, right? I take a bus. Jamás me había sentido tan seguro. I take a bus. Very good. Right? I take a bus. It's true. <laughs> It's true. I have never felt safer on a 52. <laughs> Good. So I have here all my sentences. I have 18 students and let me see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18 sentences with my sentence. I am going to leave them here because we are going to use them. These are our sentences in present. At the end of the section, we're going to come back. Cuando estudiemos el tema, vamos a volver a las oraciones. So this is our section number four. Remember our agreements. Mr. Julio is going to help me to read the first four agreements. Los primeros cuatro, Mr. Julio. Okay. Uh, class agreements. Number one, practice your English as much as possible. Number two, ask for help when needed. Number three, keep your cameras on all the time. Number four, keep microphones up if we are not using them. Very good. And Elba, help me with the other four. Very good. You see, collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. It is very nice because I was checking all the messages that you are sending on the page and I am like, yes, I mean, you are actually collaborating with everybody in the WhatsApp group. Eh, no sé si alguno de ustedes le puede copiar el ID eh, a nuestro compañero ahí, a nuestra compañera Heidi, que no se puede conectar. No sé si alguien le puede enviar el link directo de la reunión para que eh, se pueda conectar. Si alguien me hace el favor, me avisa quién lo va a hacer. Si no, se lo enviamos aquí. ¿No? Ahorita voy. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you very much. You see, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. So we have been studying different things. The past is the one that we are going to study today. The present, it's all these sentences that you created right now. All these sentences that you have here are in present, right? If we are going to work with the future, that it's the, the next topic that we're going to study, it is very easy. The future is very easy because you only say will or going to, right? I will work, I am going to work, simple. But my friend, the past tense is a little bit complicated. Creo que es el tema más tóxico de todo el inglés. Él es bien complicado, le gusta complicar la vida. But it is necessary. The only change that we have with the past is the change of the verbs with the ed forms, right? We change the verbs and we use the forms of ed to transform 
the verb into the form of past, right? For most of the verbs, we only add ed, right? And that's it. But there are many other friends that are the irregular verbs that have, it's, that have their specific forms, right? And they change completely. I saw one of the lists that you sent in the chat about the irregular forms, right? And how do you manage the irregular forms? By practicing. You have to remember them, you have to study, you have to memorize them. It is the only thing that we can do, okay? When we talk about the past tense, we have a specific forms for the sentences. And you know, the best thing, and this is like the plus, lo mejor que puede pasar, es que los cambios del pasado solo suceden en las afirmativas. Ew. <laughs> because in the negatives and in the questions, the verbs don't change. Only in the affirmative sentences, only in the present sentences, in the ones that you are affirming, but in the negatives and in the questions, they don't change, okay? Because you use auxiliaries like did or was, okay? Wasn't or did it and wasn't, weren't, or didn't. And something good that you use did for all the people, right? You don't say, I didn't, uh, she, uh, I don't know, another type of form. No, you say didn't. Didn't is for I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, okay? When you use the auxiliaries in the negatives, the verb is normal again, right? And in the questions, you put the auxiliary did at the beginning, then the verb is normal. And also when you use sentences with the verb to be, you transform these ones into was or were. For example, if I have a sentence like this one, I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. ¿Qué tipo de verbo tengo en esa oración? Be. To be. The verb to be. So with the verb to be, if you are going to pass it to past, so you say, was. I was. A I was a teacher. I was a teacher, right? Here, we don't have any other verb. Si se fijan, aquí no hay otro verbo. Solo the verb to be. If I have, for example, here, the sentence, I eat lunch. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Eat. eat. I eat, <laughs> I eat, I eat pizzas. Eat. In this case, we transform the verb and we say, I, what, I ate. ate, I ate lunch. lunch. Is this verb regular or irregular? Regular. Irregular. Irregular. Irregular, irregular yeah. because it has its own form, right? It has its own form. Yes. You don't say, I ate it lunch, because it doesn't exist, <laughs> right? Y sucede, es un error común, <laughs> that you confuse the regulars and the irregulars. Yes. So, but if I say, I cook dinner, what is the past tense of this one? What is the past tense of the verb cook? I cook. Cook um, with ed. I cooked dinner, right? I cooked dinner. And there you have it. This one is regular, regular. in the past. Yeah. Todos los regulares toman ED. Los irregulares tienen su forma, sin, uh, su forma eh, diferente. única, diferente, right? It changes in a different form. Todos los irregulares tienen su forma única de cambiar. But the regulars, you only add ED. Mm -hmm. How do you use it? Here you have the different forms, right? Here you have the different forms. The subject, the verb to be, right? They were friends. In this one, here you have the negatives. The subject was not or were not, and the complement, they were in friends. And in the questions, was and were, plus the subject and the complement. 
In this case, we have to change this one to the beginning, right? Where they friends, and that will be the form of the question. If it is where they friends, and here we have the question, right? I copy la otra pregunta otra vez. Sorry. Where they friends, and in the next one you say she worked yesterday. The subject, the verb in the past plus ed, right? In the negatives you say she didn't work yesterday and in the questions did she work yesterday right this is the form of the structures of the sentences in past right the structures is not the problem la estructura no es la difícil lo difícil es acordarnos del verbo <laughs> right and it's normal and it's difficult and i know and i'm not going to say este es un tema fácil así lo van a aprender it needs dedication and practice, ¿ok? Yo les voy a decir la verdad. Necesitan dedicación, esfuerzo y repaso. Nada de que, ah, hoy sí, mañana, ya, yes, master in past tense. No, you need to practice. Teacher. Yes, Mr. Jorge. I am question. En el caso I de los, have a question. I have a question. En el caso de los verbos que no cambian, como read, cut, ¿Cómo saber si están en pasado, presente, o sea, pasado y no sé cuál es la otra forma? Very good question. Very good question. You are going to know because of the context. Vas a saber si están en pasado, en presente, en futuro. Depende del contexto. If I say, for example, I read a book, right? I read a book. This is present, right? I, in this case, and also the pronunciation is different. So if you say, I read a book and you are going to have a compliment yesterday. And for the next one, you say, I will read a book tomorrow. Depending on the context, okay? Las palabras y los complementos son los que nos dan la idea. Aquí es bien común que si tenemos un pasado, Va acompañado de palabras como yesterday, in the morning, two weeks ago, the last year, in 2019, right? Exactly today, like, yeah, almost today. In 2020, COVID started, right? But you have a specific sentences that mark the uh, phrases in the past. Tenemos time expressions. Eso se llama time expressions. Yesterday, today in the morning, one minute ago, eh, two days ago, one week ago, right? Eh, last year, eh, yesterday, the day before yesterday. Siempre vas a tener un indicador de tiempo que te va a marcar de qué día estás hablando. Thanks, teacher. It, it is very common, but it's a very good question. Definitely. It is a very, very, very good question. Thumbs up for her. Here, what I was explaining you, right? The regular forms, you only add ED, right? And you say like, yeah, it's easy, right? When you add ED, but the irregular forms, they have their own structure. Some examples that I have here for you. Right? These are some of the rules that you have for the, for the regular board, verbs, <laughs> the regular boards, <laughs> regular verbs. Example, watch, watch it. Exercise, exercise. Study, studied. Stay, stayed. Shop, shopped. Right? You only add ed to the base form of the verbs and you transform them into past. The base form, ed. Examples, walked, play, right? The verbs ending in e, you only add the d. Liked, moved. The sure. verbs, yes? Uh, I have a question. Um, what is uh, the difference in pronunciation. <laughs> That's very good. Tomorrow we are going to dedicate the class only for the pronunciation of the past. 
Hoy la dediqué al spelling para que los identifiquemos y mañana vamos a practicar pronunciation. Ahí les voy a dar un listado de quiénes van en la T, quiénes van en la D y quiénes van en la I. Así no se van a perder. Mañana van a practicar un montón, así que no me vayan a faltar a clase. ¿Ok, Julio? Tienen categorías. Están por categorías. Y ahí, va, ahí se los voy a dar ya por categoría para que no les cueste. But they have a difference. Hay unos que se pronuncian con finalización T, otros con D y otros con I. No, noté que la pronunciación es bastante similar. Yes. But for example, in this case, say walked, played. Right, walked es con T. Played es con D. And say liked es con T. Moved es con D. Carried es con I. Carried. Studied. Right? Planned. Con D. And stopped. Es con T. <laughs> so, we are going to dedicate the day tomorrow for pronunciation because they are very complex. And we are going to, um, to practice a lot for you to manage the topic. Okay? So, in this case, when you have the verbs ending in a consonant in Y, you change the consonant for I and ED. Studied, for example. Some verbs end in a single consonant. You have to double the letter and add ED. For example, plan, planned, stop, stopped, right? With double P and double N. This is a spelling rules for the ED verbs. But if we go here, we have examples of verbs on each of the categories, right? For these verbs that we have here, we only add ed, right? For all of them, you are going to add ed. So you have listen, listened, cook, and don't say cook it, okay? Say cooked. Look, looked, call, called, walk, walked, play, played, help, helped, and you only add ed to all these verbs, right? Open, opened, watch, watch, paint, painted, jump, jumped, play, played, brush, brushed, and follow, followed. For the ones that end in E, you only add the D. For example, like, leave, share, use, save, love, and move. To all these ones, you are going to add only the D to make the, ten, the past tense. For all these ones that, that end in Y, you have to add I-E-D to all of them, right? To all of them. Cried, fried, tried, dried, studied, carried, married, copied, right? You erase the Y, you are going to erase the Y, and you are going to add IED. And for these ones that are special cases, we have the verbs that are in vowel consonant. You say skip, you have to make double consonant at the end and add ED. In this one, you have skipped, right? Skipped, stopped. Pinned, clapped, hopped, and sipped, right? You double the consonant and add ed for these forms of regular verbs, right? Was it complicated? Nah, a little bit. A little bit. Huh? Yeah, this is the baby thing. It's a piece of cake. That's, that's a piece of cake with the ed. It's like, deme la lista, bitch. <laughs> Very good. ¿Para cuándo dije que la quería? Para ayer. <laughs> ayer se la mandé, teacher. Ya está listo. <laughs> okay. But here we have my friends, the irregulars. Los más odiados por todos. Yo no sé por qué los odio. Son tan bonitos. Me complican la vida. But we have them in different groups. For example, eh, estas imágenes se las voy a mandar al, al, al messenger. Así que no, don't worry. Ahorita los copio todos. 
No. These are the ones that have the same form. These verbs don't change. Bet, 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 verse, 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 cos, 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 cut, 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 feet, feet, feet. They don't change. You don't say costed, cutted, feeded. No, because they are irregular. They don't change. Okay. These ones don't change. This is the normal form, the past and the past participle. El pasado participio, ando, endo, ya lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero ahorita nos enfocamos en esto todos, right? They don't change, right? They never change. These ones are the forms that end in T. Todo este grupo tiene la curiosidad que termina en T. Say, bent, built, burnt, dealt, dreamt, felt, kept, learned, left, lent, lit, lost, meant, meet, uh, met, shut, and spent. All these verbs, when, you, when they are transformed to the past tense, they end in T. So they have this very curious form, right? All the ones that end in T. And you say like, mm -hmm, that's good. The next category that we have about the meaning of the verbs. Si me van preguntando uno por uno, creo que nos quedamos hasta las 12. Now the teacher, what's the meaning of bet? Apostar. What's the meaning of cut? Cortar. What's the meaning of put? Poner. What's the meaning of shot? Golpear, cerrar. What's the meaning of burn? Quemar, right? We need to investigate the ones that we don't know, right? But many of them are very common. The category that don't change, the category that finish in T. Esas son las dos categorías que hemos estudiado hasta ahorita. Los que no cambian nada y los que al cambiar terminan en T. Veamos las otras categorías. The next one I have here, the verbs with a, the past form A and with, oh, sorry, with the past form A and with the past participle form U. In this case, when they change into past, they change the vowel for A. Begin, begun. Drink, drank. Run, run. Ring, Rang, sing, sang, sink, sang, swing, swam, spring, sprang. Todas las vocales de estos verbos que tenemos en esta categoría cambian a A en el pasado. Y en el pasado participio cambian a U. ¿Sí? Begin, begun, begun. Drink, drunk, drunk. Ring, run, run. Run, ring, run, run. Sing, sang, sung. Sing sang sum, solo con Motorola. Sing sang sum, swing swan sum, and spring sprang sprung. Right? That is a very curious category. The next category that we have here, it's that the verbs that ending in EW in the past and OW in the past participle. For example, here you have uh, blue, blue, fly, flu, grow, grew, no, New, throw, through. In the past tense, all of them end in E plus W. This is another category. And these ones, they are very common because all of them finish in GHT. Bring, brought, by, boat, catch, cut, fight, foot, seek, suck, teach. Thought, think, thought. Todos esos terminan en GHT. Right? They have a specific category. They have a specific category. And for the next one. Sorry, teacher. Yes? Can you repeat me the number one? Number one, this one? Yes, because okay. I didn't listen. <laughs> okay, in this one, 
all the vowels of the verb in the normal form change to a, right? Todas las vocales de este caso, en este caso, begin, pasa a began. Drink, que la vocal es i, pasa a drank. Run, pasa a ran. Ring, run. Sing, sang. Sink, sand. Swing, swam. Spring, okay. sprang. Okay. So that is a very curious category. Yes, thank you. This one is the category for the ones that end in GHT. Okay. And the final categories that I have, the verbs that in, well, this is in the past participle, they finish with EN, but it can help you to analyze and identify. Ahí les puede servir para analizarlos y e identificarlos. Here you have bit, bit, bitten, bit, bit, bitten, bite, bit, beaten. Break, broke, broken. Choose, chose, chosen. Drive, drop, driven. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Forbid, forbade, forbidden. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Freeze, frost, let it go. No, frozen. <laughs> Give, gay, given. <laughs> Hide, hid, hidden. Ride, rode, Written. Here we have rice, rose, risen, see, saw, seen, shake, shook, shaken, speak, spoke, spoken, steal, stole, stolen, take, took, taken, wake, walk, walken, write, wrote, written. Okay. This is a very musical category because all of them end in ed, en, sorry, in the past participle. <clears throat> but what about the last category that I have here? The other verbs. These are the special ones, right? Estos son rebeldes, pero tienen causa. Come, came, come. Do, did, done. Draw, drew, drawn. No tienen una categoría específica. Quizás son los únicos irregulares que sí se tienen que memorizar solitos. Go, went, gone. Green, ground, ground. Hang, hung, hung. Is, that the verb to be, wasn't, were, and been. Lie, lay, lane. Make, made, made. Su, sued, sun. Shine, shone, shone. Show, showed, shone. A stick, stuck, stuck, a sting, a stung, a stung, a strike, struck, struck, swear, swore, sworn, tear, yes, from pair, tear, tore, turn, wear, were, worn, win, won, won, right? These are the category of the irregulars itself that do not fit in any other category. They are the special ones, okay? This is the one in the end that you have to memorize, okay? Todo el miedo que les metieron de que memorizate todos los irregulares. Quizás esta categoría es la que sí en realidad nos tenemos que memorizar porque no entra en ninguna de las otras categorías que ya les expliqué. Que las otras categorías ya son como grupos específicos que podemos ir eh, marcando y podemos ir identificando. Okay, so was it complicated with the irregulars? Ya, ya odian siempre tanto los irregulares así explicados por grupo. No. Siempre, siempre los odio. Yes. <laughs> forever. 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 They are my devil. No, come on. But in groups they are easier, right? Al menos así en grupitos se ven menos malvados. No. Si se ven todos juntos así en grulla, y sí dan miedo. But in different groups, I think they are nice. So, let's study with the regular verbs, right? Simple, baby, regular verbs. Here we have, I studied on Sunday. You watch television. She stayed home. We shop for groceries. They exercise on Saturday. These are affirmative sentences. 
these ones that we have here are negative sentences. Can you help me to read the negatives? I didn't, I didn't study on Saturday. Didn't study yeah. on Saturday. I didn't study on Saturday. On Saturday. On Saturday. You didn't watch, watch, a movie. watch I didn't watch a movie. A movie. You didn't movie. watch a movie. Number three. She didn't stay out. Number four. We didn't shop for clothes. The next one. They, they didn't exercise, exercise on Sunday. Exercise on Sunday. What is the meaning of uh, didn't, did not, right? Did not. The next one. Yes? No, nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay, it says like, I didn't, right? I didn't, I did not. And if you can see here, when you use didn't, the verbs are normal, okay? Normal verbs, but the only thing that you add is didn't. Didn't is the auxiliary form of the past and the negative, right? I didn't exercise. Tell me one thing that you didn't do on the weekend. I didn't cook. I didn't eat pupusas. I didn't eat pupusas. Hmm. Tell me one thing that you didn't do on the weekend. I didn't do my homework. <laughs> I didn't do my homework. I didn't walk. I didn't walk. Really? I didn't walk. You were sleeping the whole day. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't wash my clothes. I didn't wash my clothes, right? I didn't wash my clothes. Good. Another thing that you didn't do on the weekend. I didn't work on weekend. I didn't work, right? Hmm, that's very nice because I worked. I Tell me. I didn't study. I didn't English. study for the English class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't drink beers. I didn't drink beers either, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only water. Only water. Only water. Only water. Another thing that you didn't do on the weekend. Uh -huh. I didn't, I didn't up cook. on the morning. I didn't. Carlos, I didn't. I didn't wake up. Wake up in I, the morning. I didn't wake up in the morning until the afternoon. I didn't play football. Sure. You didn't play uh, soccer. You didn't play I, soccer. Yes. It's correct. I didn't play soccer or play soccer. Players, okay, soccer. si jugo, I played soccer. Si no jugo, I didn't play. Yes, I didn't play. I didn't play soccer. No jugué football, right? I didn't play soccer. But you cannot say I didn't play football because football is American football. For sure that you didn't play football, right? I didn't play football. I didn't play soccer, you say. Good. Another sentence about the things that you didn't do on the weekend. I a, didn't swim on Sunday and polo. I didn't swim. I didn't swim on okay. Sunday. Hmm. I didn't cook. I didn't cook. Neither did I. I didn't cook. Uh, I didn't iron the clothes. No planche la ropa. I didn't iron the clothes. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Did El aire se ocupa de eso. <laughs> yeah, el calor. <laughs> Tell me, did you, did you shower the dog on the weekend? Did you shower the dog on the weekend? Also my cat. And the cat, how do you shower the cat? No, I, I shower him like my boyfriend. 
How do you shower your boyfriend? Oh my God. <laughs> Este. I give him all my love. <laughs> okay, too much information for tonight. Ya, yeah, mucha oh. información para esta clase. Este. Bueno, y el novio de Ana. Sí, sí, me baña. <laughs> es el testigo. Okay, let's continue. Another sentence, another thing, another thing. Pasemos al siguiente tema, vea. <laughs> Next point, please. Next point, porque si no me van a empezar. Yo también, yo también, que no sé qué. Y mira qué ejemplo. No, no, no. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I shower the dog. I don't know where my dog is, but yes, I shower her on the weekend. So for the normal forms, you use the verb in past, the irregular form of the verb, or the regular form of the verb in affirmative sentences. For the negatives, didn't. Here I have some examples of regular verbs. Regular verbs. What do you do with the regular verbs? ¿Qué hacemos con los verbos regulares? ¿Cuál es el cambio que les hacemos? We only add ed, d. Exactly. We only add ed or d or depending on the verb, for example, like in the verb hug, you have to double the letter and add ed. So in this one, you have agreed, right? Here, you have answered ed, arrived, only the d. Ask, ¿qué le tendríamos que agregar? ed. Ed, right? Ed. Believe? D. Only D. the D. Call? D. 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 Carry? I. 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 D. D. I. E. D. Right? Clean? E. D. 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 Climb? E. D. E. D. E. D. Complete? D. E. D. Complete it. Create? D. 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 Change? E. D. 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 Check? Ed. Hug. Ed. Hug. Good. Dive. Ed. 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 For drive. I. Ed. I. Ed. Ed. For end. Ed. 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 For enjoy. Ed. Ed. Feel. Ed. 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 And fix. So all the ones that you have there on the examples are regular, right? All the ones that you have there are regular. And exactly as we were doing here, you have to transform the other ones, okay? Ahí también se lo puede mandar para que ustedes los puedan transformar los que faltan. En el caso de clap, you have to add double P, E, D, right? Clap, skip, double P, E, D, right? Hope, just the D. Show, show. Trade, trade. Invite, D. Jog, G E D. Jog, very good. G E D. Act, active, learn, and like, D. Very good. So, as you can see here, all these ones are irregulars. So give me one sentence about what you did today using one of the verbs. For example, I can say I played a PlayStation. And that's my sentence, right? I played PlayStation, right? I played PlayStation. I practice my English, right? Give me one sentence with one of the verbs in affirmative. I called to my mom. I called my mom. You say, I called my mom. Good. Another one? Se la puede hacer más fácil todavía. I dress, I dress the outfit. Very good. I practice today English. I practice English today. 
Right. Another one. English today. I study English today. I studied English today. Very good. I listened to music. I listened to music. Very good. Another one. I watch TV. I watch TV today. Very good. Another example. I, which one? I talk, I talk with my mother. Very good. Another one. I walk today. I walk today. Very good sentence. Another one. I am beating my friend Bradford today. Ah, very good. Very good sentence. Solo que no me invito, vea. Hmm. I invited. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> I invited my friend for breakfast today. Right. I invited my friend for breakfast today. Another example. I watched, I watched my car today. I washed my car today. Very good. I play PlayStation today. I play PlayStation today. That was exactly the thing that I did today. I play PlayStation today. Tell me that sentence about the PlayStation in negative. And you say, no, teacher. You didn't play PlayStation today. Ah. But was the sentence correct? Estaba correcta la frase? No. No. Ajá, no. Very good. Pero por qué nadie dice? Teacher, el pasado, teacher. Ah, you have to be very careful at the moment of checking, right? I played I PlayStation, PlayStation today, right? The negative. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't play. Yeah, you see, Baba. I didn't play. And the question: Did you? Did you play? Did you play PlayStation today? Today? And I would say, no, not today. Yeah, I did it. Right? I played PlayStation today. I didn't play PlayStation today. Did you play PlayStation today? Yes, I did. So there you have. I I won. <laughs> <laughs> I won. I play with my kids, so I always win. <laughs> so this is the form of the regular verbs, right? Not really complicated. I have here a little conversation that is going to help us understand the topic a bit better, right? Here we have a short conversation. And it says, I didn't study, right? I didn't study. Oh, my God. And it says, Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I started for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. It was like, I'm sorry, right? If you didn't study, I'm sorry. This is a question in the past. Did you have a good weekend? Here you have an answer. In the past, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? On Saturday, I exercised, I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped, right? And then I visited my parents. What did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. There we have examples of the past tense at work, right? Do we have a question about pronunciation or vocabulary? Preguntas de pronunciación o vocabulario? Yes. Which one? Verb past. 
the first in past. <laughs> Pronunciation or vocabulary. Palabras que no sepamos o que no conozcamos. In the sentences for room, roommate. Ah, the roommate. It's a person who lives in your house. Roommate. But it's not your family or your friend. Es como compañero de cuarto. My roommate. Como cuando usted tiene un cuarto solo en su casa. Compañera y lo de cuarto. Compañera de cuarto. My roommate. Es bien común en las universidades. Que tres o cuatro jóvenes duerman en el mismo apartamento. My roommate. Porque entre todos pagan la casa. That's the roommate. Another one. Another new word or new yeah. vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Which How one? do you mean a little fire today? Ah, uh, okay. What does it mean? I feel a little tired today. It's like... <laughs> Oh my God, I feel a little tired, so it comes out, right? I am tired. It's like, que salí a correr y me siento agotados. I feel a little tired. Tired is cansado. Another question. What is laundry? Laundry, cuando tienes toda la ropa que lavar. I did laundry. Lavé ropa. I did laundry, lavar la ropa. Do you remember the place in town, the laundromat? It's when you do the laundry. Another one? Another sentence? No, all of them are clear. Teacher. Yes? Uh, yes. Test. Test. Uh, when you say like, do we have a test today? A test. Uh -huh. It is like, como cuando estábamos en las clases presenciales. Bueno, niños. There you go. For you, for you, for you, for you. It's like, oh my God. That's why, as you can see, the teacher is giving a test to the student. This one is a test, right? This one is a test, it's an exam. Be careful, it's an exam, right? That's a test. It's an exam that you hand in to your students. So my dear students, practice with me. Hi, Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? A good weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend. Okay, and I feel a little tired today. And I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Really? Why? Really? Why? Really? Why? Really? Why? Well, 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 on Saturday, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I. Day I clean, did laundry and shop. Laundry and shop. And then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. So what did you do on Sunday? So, what, so did what did you do on Sunday? On Sunday? I studied for the test all day. I studied for the test all day. All day. All day. Oh no, do we have a test today? No, we have a I didn't study. I didn't study. I, didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. I just watch, watch television all weekend. weekend. All weekend. 
Okay, so tomorrow we are going to continue practicing the past tense. And for sure, we are going to practice for the irregular forms, okay? Today we practice only the regulars. Tomorrow we are going to go with the irregulars. So please, my dear students, continue practicing, check on the lists, and later I am going to send you the groups of verbs for you to practice, okay? So that's all for today, and I'm going to see you tomorrow for another class. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Tomorrow, night. Beautiful night, teacher. Thank you. Same for you. Bye. Bye.